This video demonstrates how to create an SSH key and um, install it on your GitHub account so your computer would be authenticated when you're connecting to GitHub. Like this, you don't have to keep entering your user ID and password whenever you want to make a change to your code, update it, push it, or pull it into your repositories at GitHub. The very first thing that you need to do is um, <clears throat> log into your GitHub account. And I'm waiting for the GitHub to load. And uh, simply uh, uh, go on your profile and um, go to settings and click on SSH and GPG keys down here, SSH and GPG keys and we are going to add a new SSH key but we're gonna first create that key on your local computer. For that we use a program called PuttyGen. PuttyGen is installed in well many different applications you may so you may have different versions of it we want the one that you used uh, when you were installing your Putty terminal client. So what you're going to do, open up your start and, uh, window and type PuTTY and PuTTY Gen is going to come up. That's the one. Uh, you may have several different one of them. Uh, anyways, open one of them and go to help. About the version should be 0 0.76. So that's the version that you want to have. Then to generate the key, create uh, click on ED. DSA, you click on generate and immediately move your mouse around this empty area. This creates a random number based on the movement of your mouse and creates a key for you. So I'm going to click generate and move it and this becomes the key that is created. Then we have to save this public and private key in a standard place on our computer. I'll tell you where it's going to be. Um, so um, first let's start with saving the private key. So I'm going to uh, uh, click on save private key and it's immediately going to ask you if you want to do it without a passphrase. As you see over here, a key can be accompanied by a passphrase that is like a password. If the computer that you have is a public computer, then and the key is installed on a public computer, then obviously you need to add a password to it so not everybody can con uh, connect to your GitHub account using your computer. But if your computer belongs to you and it's password protected, then there is no need for the passphrase uh, at, as what I'm going to do now. So are you sure you want to save this without the passphrase? I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to go to the root of my OS uh, operating system uh, hard drive, in this case, it's C. Then you click on users and in users you're going to go to the one that you have uh, your account in, whatever your user ID is, mine is PHARD. And then in there either you have already a .ssh uh, directory or you don't. If you don't, create it by going to new folder and create .ssh. Uh, if you already have it, open it and then you are going to create a key. As you see, I already have the key from old time, so I'm just going to use that name and overwrite it. So, um, so call it GitHub key or something that you recognize that belongs to key. So I'm going to overwrite it now. That file that is there is from the um, old time. So if you don't put PPK over here because it's a primary key, automatically it's going to put that uh, extension for it anyway. So we're going to click on save and it's going to say you want to override it. I'm going to say yes and I'm going to save the public key and the public key um, put the same name and put dash uh, dot pub. You have to add that pub yourself or just don't put any extension and that's the public key. I save it so it's going to say you want to uh, uh, override it and I'm going to say yes. <clears throat> now the key itself is this phrase that you see over here. So you just copy this, right click and copy. 
after copying this the whole thing has to get copied then you come to your page on github create new ssh key and then in a title put the name of the computer that you can recognize it uh, the one that you are creating your uh, key on it that you created the key on it this in this case it's my demo computer so in here I'm gonna say demo VM that's 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 my computer and then you click over here and paste what you have copied over there click on add SSH key and that key is now of obviously it's gonna ask for your password because it's an important thing so you re-enter your password and confirm your password <clears throat> now that key is on github now that we have that key on github and we have that key on our computer we can actually access github without any user ID and password and uh, clone any repository that we have that's how you create keys and add it to your account in the next video I'm going to show you how to actually use that key in your um, tortoise kit to be able to pull and push information from repositories thank you for watching more videos to come